Now, the power of an image can be immense and continued visual stimuli can affect both the mind and your mood. Today on the show, we're joined by photographer Angie Lazaro, whose breathtaking photography at that has seen her travel the world. Now, Tanya, I believe for this conversation, we're moving from the information age to the conceptual. Take it away. Absolutely. Looking forward to working with you. Angie, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. So we are talking about moving from the information age into the conceptual age. And if we think about the information age, it's very left brain dominant. It's all about the facts and the figures and the science and all of those dynamics. And the conceptual age is more right brain oriented, but people get confused thinking right brain is only about the creative, the art and so on. But it's actually about taking concept and information and shifting it into the creative. And you gave me the most amazing story which talks directly to this in the break while we were waiting to shoot your episode. And it was about this wonderful guy with balloons and color. Talk to me about that. Yes, it's, a, it's something that I read about. Um, Athi Patraruga is a, a performance artist. And um, in his conceptual work, he dressed up with these balloons and filled them with uh, dye and uh, uh, confetti. And he walked from, from um, one side of Makanda to the city centre in red high heels and st bright stockings. And what it really meant was he was trying to load off the different identity um, expectations on him with all these balloons. And as they were popping, his load was becoming lighter and lighter. So in a way, it was a way of trying to release himself from the constraints, from different ideologies on his identity as, a, as, a, as an individual and as an artist. And just releasing that and, um, and showing that there are other ways of thinking, other ways of identity, other ways of how to change what we've been led to believe is one way or, or another way or the accepted way. And that there are a multitude of, of ways and of doing things, of being, of expressing oneself. And and how we, as the audience, where, do, where can we make changes? Where can we break away from certain constraints? Oh, I completely love that because it talks to something that I've been working on. So I've created something called the eighth element, which is all about energy. But it's all about sort of vibrational energy rather than physical energy that we are accustomed to. And, you know, being an energist is something I want to try and evolve to from people speak. So we move away from, from gender, we move away from culture, we move away from race, and all those balloons that were popping were getting rid of all of those ideologies as you were talking about, and moving towards being an energist. You know, I can choose to want to be with someone because I feel good around them, because they make me feel good, I make them feel good, and when we move apart from one another, we still feel good. So nobody's sort of stoned in each other's energy and we actually work well together as, as a group of people. So from an art perspective, and we're talking energy now, right? When you're creating your, your visuals, your photographs, your, and so on, how do you bring the energy into capturing that moment? I think with photography, it depends what I'm shooting. But um, if I think of travel photography, which is kind of where it's really just you and what you're seeing, because, I mean, things unfold in front of you and beauty unfolds in front of you. And it's just having that, uh, that acknowledgement of, like, the aesthetics are there. You just have to just see it. And um, I think with photography and, I mean, anybody can just take a moment and just take their phone and go outside and find what's really inspiring, you know, just anything, you know, like you can see a new flower just budding or, you know, photograph your animals or, you know, what, whatever kind of inspires you as, as, a, as a break. Instead of going for a smoke break, you could just go, go outside and take some pictures. I mean, angles, shadows, you know, architectural stuff. You know, there's so many things you could do. And I think it's just wanting to just step outside your own story and just seeing and, and capturing that. I think it's just a, a magical space to be in. That is wonderful. So to summarize that, it's about being still capturing the moment and then just putting it forward from your own perspective and it doesn't have to be anything more than that. It's just authentic and real. So we're just going to end the show on saying be in the now, be in your moment, take time to shoot the breeze. Absolutely. Thank you, Angie, for being with us today. Oh, father, father, father. Oh,